let's get started. So what do we need to know for Scorpio about their person? What's going on with their person that will help Scorpio in the possibilities of love? Overall energy, Princess of Wands, past energy, Ten of Swords, current energy, Strength, future energy, the Devil. So, your person, they're a lot of fun, but they are wearing a mask, like they, they're not telling you, or maybe showing you, how much pain that they've been in in the past like I feel like there was a they went through a relationship or some struggles there was a lot of betrayal and they don't want to bring that downer into your relationship so current energy is strength so you are giving them strength Scorpio you have brought them back up the uh, future energy of the devil so I feel like I mean, they know that this is going to be, it's a little treacherous. It's going to be a little bit of a climb, but that, you know, they will tempt you into it. They know that if they just play their cards right, that they can bring you in. So let's clarify this Princess of Wands for Scorpio's person. Two of Swords, Knight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, your person, they uh, they had a hard something in their past. My, it was a lot of pain, but they came out of it, and they, you know, really found their way, found their purpose, kind of, you know, moved on. And yet they still have that little bit of deception. Even though they're bringing all of this love to you, that deception is that pain that they're going through. So let's clarify that pain. Let's clarify this Ten of Swords, which, I mean, Ten of Swords, they're at the end of that pain, at the end of that cycle. Um, but what happened there? Okay, so we've got Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. So yeah, they had someone that they, you know, were truly in love with. There was a betrayal. They were very betrayed. And so when they walked away from it, they, you know, kind of walked away a couple steps backwards. But they have reclaimed you know, enough of their heart to be able to have the awareness of what you bring. So let's uh, clarify current energy of strength for your person, Scorpio. So we have two of pentacles, three of pentacles, knight of wands. So yeah, so they see what this relationship is. They're trying to play it up as being light and casual, even though they know it's not. But this is this is that energy of you, that three of pentacles, where you are that deception is that third party there. So but you bring them strength. You bring them strength because of the type of relationship that they know that this is. And so right now they're willing to kind of like be playful enough to try to bring a little more clarity to you so you can get rid of that inner deception. But of course, the fact that they haven't really, you know, told you, you think that they can't handle 
what you are. Um, but they haven't really told you what they've been through, so you think they're just a nice shiny penny. And they're actually a little beaten up themselves. Future the Star, King of Cups, and the Hangman. So yeah, so you are their star. This is, they are bringing you all of their love. And they're just going to wait. They're going to get the perception because they want to get to the top of this. They want to, you know, bring you into this relationship. And so they're trying to just hang in there and get that extra perception that is needed in order to bring you into the relationship to the level that they want this relationship to be at. So lots of love that they have for you. Your person, Scorpio, has lots of love for you. Something's trying to escape there. So I'm going to clarify the... Um, Let's clarify that two of swords. So what came out? Strength, justice. Okay, page of swords. So they're ready to let go of that pain. Again, you are their strength. Came up twice. You help them to be a better person. But you can see with this one, you have the two sides. So... They're ready to let go of it, but they're not really to, ready to tell you. Again, justice, same two sides. They have not been ready to tell you that they also had a complicated past. So let's clarify the uh, Seven of Swords, this betrayal. What do we need to know about Scorpio's person with this betrayal? Three of Cups. Eight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. So they were definitely betrayed with this Three of Cups. They were betrayed uh, in a relationship. Um, they didn't see it. With the uh, Eight of Swords, they didn't see it coming. And this person seemed so together that they were with so together and I mean that queen of pentacles energy and they just never saw it coming and it just broke them but you've given them all their strength back and you they have the awareness of what this new relationship is which is so much more evolved than the last relationship was Let's clarify, you know, you with this Three of Pentacles energy in their current situation. Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, King of Swords. So waiting for you, they're willing to do it. They feel like they're going to win. They're a little worried, though, that you might choose something out so they're being very they're really trying to nurture you but you're missing it a lot of the times like you are just missing it because you're not allowing the rest of this to be filled let's clarify this new perception that they are trying to have with this hanged woman in the future. Nine of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. So yeah, so they think that if they just, if they watch, they're going to figure out what it is that has you hanging on to those last shreds of pain, that last Nine of Cups pain. And once they do, they're going to offer you all of this love, this new beginning. And, you know, because this comes together with this King of Cups, like this is what they foresee. And this is what is going to come if you accept this offering. You accept this offering to 
let's get rid of this nine of swords pain. You know, let's take this ace of pentacles, new start and boom, queen of cups, king of cups. So let's uh, take a few messages for your person, Scorpio, from the universe. High Priestess, Five of Wands, Death. So yeah, so if you can, you know, you see there's still that little bit of deception with the High Priestess right here and the intuitiveness. If you can fight through that, fight through this Five of Wands sort of energy, being that you are, I mean, the High Priestess, you're in, if you can get into that High Priestess, very in tune energy, that nine of swords pain, it's done. Death. You're going to have that rebirth and transform and transmute and become more congruent with yourself. And you're going to make this relationship happen. And I think, I mean, this could also be your person because your person is being a little deceptive. But there's a fight to be had to get you guys through this not being open. Um, I joke my daughter's relationship is like relationship goals. Like they tell each other everything. And if you can get a little bit of that, your person doing that, you doing that, rebirth. Done. Done with the pain. On to the joy. So I hope that helps, Scorpio. And I will see you next time. Bye.